Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be talking about the Tekken 8 beta. I've been playing it a bunch this past weekend. I want to give my thoughts from a top 2D fighting game player's perspective. There's a lot I like, a lot I don't like, and I want to jump straight into it. With Azucena, who honestly, I've been having a ton of fun with. If this character wasn't in the game, I don't think I'd be having quite as much fun. I like new characters that are added to the series, and I just love everything about her. Her style, her play style. I like the vibe she gives off. I love the stage she, she has and I love how cheap she is. This character is really, really cheap. Um, let me give you guys the 30 second as a setup play guide. Spam this move. This move is basically H Dragon Lash from uh, Street Fighter 6. You're plus on block and then you can do a mix up after. It's mid high, but you can't really duck the mid the high because it's a, it just jails. So keep doing this move in neutral. Just move around, wait for them to commit. If they commit, you get a whiff punish. You just do this into a combo of your choice. And then, you know, you can like mix up with Oki and, and keep doing this move, right? Um, the other thing is, you know, you have this low that's pretty good to mix up with. This puts you in the back stance. You have a few different options. I like going for the double low or you can like, like stop them from mashing with something like that. Or you could just back off. And then when you're in this stance, which is you can enter it manually. I punish something with like a 1-1. One, one. You go into a stance and you make get sort of a 50-50 between down 4-4, four, four, which is basically a hell sweep. You can also mix up with uh, four two, and so you basically spam this in the 50-50s, or you do H Dragon Lash over over in neutral. And people are literally doing like this move into this move on block. It's just that good. Does crazy chip. <laughs> That's so much damage. So like I, I, what I do is like I activate heat, and then like one of my favorite moves in heat is this dash. This dash is insanely fast, and it puts you in the stance. So you can do like dash hell sweep low. <laughs> or dash uh dash mid you have a lot of different options uh she's really cool and that's all i've been sticking with i got the highest rank super easy with her i, I know there's a lot a lot less to a lot more to learn all right we did boys the graphics are really really good i like the style the styling i like the hit effects i love the supers look great honestly graphic wise this game's top notch to me the stages look really really cool too i love the general audience of everything ortiz farm is probably my favorite i mean you got like freaking aliens you got all these like different stage effects super super neat and all the other stages are nice too i just i just love all the stages and uh, of course there's the beta there's gonna be plenty more um, the music's really great. I have not muted the music for this game outside of for this YouTube video. I haven't vibe in the Ortiz farm theme is so good, but some of the other ones are really good too, like the whoop 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 song. <laughs> yeah, pretty much all the music I'm, I'm a huge fan of, which is a breath of fresh air considering I do not like Street Fighter 6 music. So I like the heat system. I know a lot of the top players, like I saw Arlson's tweet earlier. So many things to love about Tekken, uniqueness, multiple game modes, graphics. However, I really don't like the heat mechanic. It feels like it's the one thing that can destroy the game. I personally really like it. So as a new player coming from 2D games, Tekken 8 feels really similar to Tekken 7, even with the heat system, right? And I feel like if you tone down the heat system, system or like you removed it it would feel almost exactly like Tekken 7 and I feel like at least to capture an audience like someone like myself I really want it to feel just a bit different right and I think the heat system is a good way to do it I think it's also like a very intuitive thing to use because you can just like tap it one button and it's like all right I have armor right so if like I'm panicking I can just like I don't know what to do about pressure that's a very common thing that I feel a lot because like there's a lot of gimmicks uh in offense you have to have a lot knowledge of like what moves characters can do on offense you're like all right fuck it like i can just armor out and i can activate heat and i can enter like a super state to me it just feels like i have more options like whether it's a neutral or offense or defense and that feels really good as a new player where it's like i don't have to intricately know the system i just like press one button right like that feels really good to me so from a new player's perspective i really like that but i can see how it's not very techany so maybe that's like the complaints that people are having the lobby system looks really cool kind of gives me like bow hub vibes of course the lobby wasn't really working very well like you couldn't fight people at least during the beta um but i think i think the general idea is really cool all right so what do we not like about the game first thing is the net code that's super super obvious to me i think the net code compared to like street fighter or mk or grand blue or guilty gear it's subpar easily the worst thing in comparison to the other games this guy's wired to this connection trash 
I know this game supposedly has rollback, but I don't really feel it. A good connection will feel really good in this game, but it's like if you get someone on Wi-Fi or you get someone off a trash PC, it just feels terrible. And I'd say like probably every other match I have on Tekken just does not feel very good to play. Occasionally you just get some matches that are completely unplayable, literally like second long stutters <laughs> in the actual game. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. He activated the Wi-Fi power up. Maybe there could be like a filter for Wi-Fi. Maybe there's a better PC check. So if someone's PC is trash, you don't connect to them or something. I feel like that would filter out a lot of the issues. And then maybe, you know, a proper player that has a decent PC with a wired internet connection, which I don't think is that hard to have when you play online playing games, you have a better online experience. But the good connections did feel good, which is promising, right? The ghost thing seems really, really cool. Uh, I played against one ghost and it was just, it was a joke though. Like I didn't really understand. Uh, maybe the ghosts aren't fully flushed out. It feels like they're all in like super easy mode. I think it'd be really cool to like play Arsene Ash's ghost or Nii's ghost or like all these top players ghosts. But right now it just doesn't feel like the ghost system is quite where it needs to be. I also think it'd be really cool if you could play your own ghost. Like I want to see how my ghost compares to myself. I feel like playing against yourself is like this like super cool way to evolve and learn, but I don't know if that'll actually be a thing. Okay. The thing is, it doesn't feel that different to Tekken 7, right? And I think a big part of this is that you only have one new character. Like everyone else is a carryover except Azucena. And I feel like because there's so much legacy skill already that carries over from Tekken 7 to Tekken 8, I like to see some new characters to just kind of mix up things. It does feel very Tekken-y to me, which, you know, I guess for most people, that's a good thing because, you know, you want to cater to your OG player base. But for me, it's like, man, I wish this felt a little different. And I know the heat system does that, but maybe maybe like add some new characters too. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Honestly, I've really enjoyed this. Um, I think I enjoy it more than Tekken 7 because it's new, new things, new shiny things are, are good. <laughs> Anyways, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of the game. I'm going to be playing this game a lot. I'm going to hopefully make some guides and make some content around this. I'm not the best Tekken player, but I can recruit some really good Tekken players and kind of like detail my journey learning Tekken because I really want to put some time into this game. I think it's really fun. I'm going to leave you guys with some match footage of Azucena just to show how, how cheap she is. Very fun character carrying me through uh, the rankings. So take a look. Peace, y'all. Oh, I got fucked. Yeah, this guy's fucking me up. All right, it's Tekken 8. I mean, I don't know. It feels a little easier than Tekken 7, but it's still going to be pretty hard. You got to play against people like this that have definitely been playing the game for a while. At the same time, like, I don't know. I feel like now's the best time to get into Tekken when the game drops, right? There's going to be a bunch of other new people learning. And like any game, it's going to be hard to like get to the peak, so. Am I playing Law? Nah. I actually haven't ran the one Law, I think. An I-12 launcher sounds kind of crazy, though. Good block. But what is that move? That move is so fucking good. Plus a block counter hit launcher. Good block. Oh, good sidestep. You got these? Oh, it's just linear. Okay. Ow. Oh shit! 
good low parry. Nice block, man. Nah, <laughs> fuck. All right, someone was actually good at ducking that. Yeah, he's just right every time. That's a Tekken funnies. I fucking beat it. Let's go. Jeez. Okay. Wait, we're kind of cooking. I, yeah, I, I am trying to neutral skip like anime fighters. I. What's wrong with spamming heavy dragon lash and neutral? It's working. Heavy dragon lash. Oh shit, that was not heavy dragon lash. Wait, that combos? I can't believe I recovered there. Wait, I know I don't know what to do here. Uh I go. He hasn't attacked the one plus two yet. My goat! <laughs> it's, it's, it's heavy dragon lash, but better. That's how you just gotta think of it like that. Oh, that's the catch the step. That's smart. Oh, right, you did that to catch. To end it, end it like that. I kept getting clipped. Uh, bro, Azusen is carrying the fuck out of me. I'm gonna keep it real. I feel like that dude actually knew how to play Tekken.